Now that you've tested everything inside the tank, we'll want to test all of the functions out here on the air seeder. Um, so we have our metering augers. One for each tank equipped with a metering auger. We have a drive system. On our drive system, we have three ranges. High range, low range, and mid range. To change the range, you just simply move the slide up and move it over. I've selected low range for everything to test the upper limits of the system as we showed you on the monitor. We have our calibration tails that we'll be collecting a sample showing an actual calibration. In these holders, we have our digital scale. This tank is equipped with a bulk boom, so we have a remote for it. And in the other one, you could have your operator's manual, but we have the remote in that one. This remote links up with the hydraulic valve. Via a receiver located in behind. As safety uh, permits, we don't have this remote live. I'll turn it on until we power up the receiver. This conveyor run switch powers up the receiver. So now you can see we are linked in. It's showing that we're on fan. On our remote, the lower right corner, it says fill and then fill cal. You will press fill once. You hear the fan stop. Now all of the oil is being diverted to this valve. We'll hit fill cal again. Now part of the oil being sent to the valve is running through the metering circuit. We'll leave it run there to test it, to test calibration. Okay. So to go back to fans, you press the fan button. Our fans are running. Okay. Here's our switch box, the similar, same as in the cab. We have button one, two, three, four, and five assigned to the metering augers. This tank is equipped with five tank metering. We have button A to enter calibration. We have our master switch. This button C acts as a reset or a prime. Okay, now we'll come out to the tank and we want to test the function of the remote switch box the same as we did in the cab. It has assigned one, two, three, four, and five, indicating this tank has a five tank metering. We've confirmed that. Button A enters calibration. We have our master switch. Our reset button, button C is a reset button when it's in calibration. And when it's not in calibration, it's a prime function. So you want to select our tanks. We'll start with all five. Our fan is running. We'll hit our master. We'll watch all of the metering augers move up and down. Our RPM to change. You want to turn off all but one of your tanks and confirm that section, our tank one is controlling the first tank to the front. And go to tank two, and so on, so forth. Testing all of our tanks. 
taking our master off. And at this time, we can test that prime function. So we had entered in the monitor a five second prime. You press button C. You note the metering augers. Run for five seconds. Valuable for checking runs. Okay. Now to enter calibration, we can enter it from here. Hold it for a count of five and release it and it should be green, indicating you're in calibration. You should verify this on the monitor, entering it from here as well as from the monitor. Now we have to select the tanks we wish to calibrate. For this example, we're going to select them all. No need to have product in to do the functional test. Okay. So now we can hit our master. Counting RPM, counting pounds of expected product, verify this on the monitor. Once you have a fictitious sample size, you can hit your master again. You can reset on the monitor, but we'll reset by touching this button. You can flash a quick flash of green, indicating that it has gone to zero revs again, zero pounds of expected product, and confirm that. And you'll notice that these are flashing, waiting ready to go. To exit calibration, you press and hold this until the orange